Hello everyone, this video covers section 7.3, confidence intervals for P. This is very, very similar to the last two sections, and specifically, this is very, very close to 7.1, because step one is using the same numbers that we do, or the same numbers that we use in 7.1. The difference is that in 7.1, we were talking about mu, and now we're talking about P. So therefore, the confidence is for P now, and P is going to need an approximation, or an approximator, which is going to be P hat. And this is the formula for P hat. X, remember from... Um, chapter five so this is the number of successes so in this case it will be the number of people that say yes because it will be a yes or no question and this is the sample sample size okay. so p hat is going to approximate p just like x bar approximated mu so now what we have is p hat is going to approximate p so in this section, everything is about P, not about mu. Now, notice that this is identical to section 7.1, which the solution will be either this one, this one, or this one. We will use this in chapter A. Okay. The thing that is different here is how to find the, the margin of error. Now, if this part is the same, but this is slightly different. So just be careful when you use the order of operations to figure out this part. But again, this is essentially the same as 7.1. Once you find the margin of error, all you have to do is add it and subtract it, write it in this form, and explain it. That's it. So this is probably 95% the same as section 7.1. For example, here, it says find a 90% confidence interval for the true proportion. So this is how you know you're doing 7.3 and not 7.1. So the first thing you have to figure out is what P hat is. So P hat will be 160 divided by 300, which is 0.53333. But we'll just stick to 0 0.5 by 3. Alright, so once you find that, since you want a 90%, that means the alpha has to be point, point 0.10. So for step 1, remember, is alpha divided by 2, which will be point 0.05. Then we need z of point 0.05, which is equals to 1.64 from here. Okay. Then step 2... This is the part that you have to be very careful. This is z of alpha over 2, p hat, 1 minus p hat, divided by n, and take the square root. So in this case, this will be 1.64 times 0.53 times 0.47. How do we get 40, uh, 0.47? Well, 53 goes here, so 1 minus 53 is 47. The value for n is 300. So be careful when you do this. So once you compute everything, remember it's this times that, divided by this, then take the square root, and then multiply it times 1.64. If we do that, we get this. This is 1.64 times point, uh, zero two eight a If you multiply that times 1.64, you get around point zero four seven two five. So let's just round this to just two decimal places. So this will be point zero zero five. Remember that this is called the margin of error. And then all you have to do is just plug it into the formula for step three. So for step three, we have p hat plus or minus e 
which in our case it will be 0 0.53 plus or minus 0 0.05 and then by the solution this will be 0 0.58 53 plus 5 is 58 and 53 minus 0 0.5 is 0.48 so this will be 0 0.48 so therefore the explanation is that the you are ninety percent sure that the proportion the proportion or that the proportion is between forty eight percent and fifty eight percent. That's it. Let's do a word problem now. The question says, Nacho is interested in finding out the percentage, so that's how you know there is about the proportion, of Angelinos that we live in Santa. So he asked 200 people, of which 140 say that they believe in, in Santa. And the question is asking you to find that 95%. So 95% means that alpha is 0.05. All right. So before you do the problem, the first thing you need to figure out is how much is P hat. Remember the approximation to P. So this will be 140 divided by 200, which is 0.7. So that will be P, P hat. Then if we do the steps, for step one, alpha divided by two is gonna be 0 0.025. And by now you should know that this is also gonna be 1.96 if we're using Z. Then step two, the margin of error is going to be 1.96 times P hat, which is 0.7. Therefore, 1 minus p hat is going to be 0 0.3. The value for n is 200. All right, so once you uh, multiply all of this, you end up with 0 0.063 around that. So let's round this to two decimal places. So this will be 0 0.06. Then step three is p hat plus or minus e, which in our case p hat remember is 0 0.7, so this is plus or minus 0 0.06. Then write the answer in this form, so p is between 0 0.76, 70 plus 6 is 76, and 70 minus 6 is 0 0.64. And that's it. Okay. So therefore, this means the Nacho is ninety-five percent confident that between sixty-four percent and seventy-six percent of Angelinus believe in Santa which is probably the same Angelinus that believe that the Dodgers are going to be champions anytime soon just kidding alright so like I mentioned in 7.1 and in 7.2 you can actually do this in the calculator too. Just remember that the calculator doesn't give you this and it doesn't explain anything. For the calculator, are the same commands is stat and then uh, test. Then you keep scrolling down until you find the letter A, which says one probe, which means one proportion. Z because we're using the Z table and then I and T for interval. Then it will ask you to enter X, which is 140, 
to enter M which is 200 and then the confidence level which is 0.95 and then when you do that just click enter and it will give you again this on the screen 0.64 comma 0.76 it will tell you n is equals to 200 and x equals to 140 or something like that all right so you're free to use the calculator just make sure you write the answer like this and you explain it if the question is asking you to do that finally in this section just like in section 7.3 you can um be asked questions like this like how large of a sample is needed in order to have a, a specific margin of error so this time it is actually two percent remember that two percent means point zero two also remember that this formula technically comes from step two however step two in section seven point three is different than step two in section 7.1 so that's why the formula looks slightly different but the formulas are given to you so all you have to do is plug in the, the information okay so here the value for n will be z of alpha over 2 which we found that in step 1 to be 1.96 remember e is 2 percent so it's 0 0.02 and p hat we find it to be 0.7 so if we plug that into the equation we end up with 1.96 divided by 0 0.02 all of this is square times p hat which is 0.7 1 minus p hat which is 0.3 this is around 2016.8 but remember that this has to be a whole number so this rounds to 2017 and that's it end of the story okay i mentioned this before so let me mention this again you won't be able to solve this question unless you know how to at the very least figure how to find step one by hand so make sure that you know how to do the steps even though you may use the calculator to make things faster Right, so that's it for 7.3.